here is to try and watch for tracks crossing the road, listen out for contact calls, because they will make those whooping contact calls if they're on the hunt. It's quite late for them to be on the hunt. So what we'll do is we'll drive to the pinnacle of the road here and then we'll stop. It's tremendously exciting. Right, let's stop here. Let's have a quick listen. Liam, have you seen any wild dogs? No. Here is an ashy grey flycatcher. Okay. It's no good. Let's carry on. I'm going to drive relatively quickly because they do move so very fast. Now, for those of you who don't know, I don't know, uh, we have uh, got a few new viewers, I think, and therefore you might not have seen wild dogs before. They are Africa's wolf, and they're a very, very beautiful animal, painted uh, brown. There they are. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sean, as I've got two of them here, Zebra Drive, heading in a uh, sort of back towards the dam. They're just south of the junction with Shortcut Matanduga. Three of them now. <laughs> How awesome is this, everybody? <laughs> Ah, oh, wow. We are so lucky. Now, who are these dogs and where are they going? And Wesley, you want to know if wild dogs are classified as placeful, as playful animals. Um, well, I suppose you might consider them playful. They are certainly classified as highly endangered. Let me just reverse. There we go, they're now going into the block, which is going to be quite difficult to follow. So we're going to keep going. Stations animals are now heading west into the block, north into the block, sorry, I'm going to try and follow up. Alright, let's keep going here. Sean, straight in front of you there. Everybody, I will have to be on the radio just to help everyone into the sighting. Well, we did get to see them. Whether we'll see them again or not, I don't know. We do. You see, there's a balance to be had here between getting too close and making a noise and affecting their hunting. There they are, straight in front of us. Sean, straight in front of my vehicle. And apparently there is a road up ahead. So... I can just see them there. We'll keep trying, getting ahead of us a little bit. Hold on everyone, I know this isn't the most comfortable ride, but in order to stay with them we're going to have to move a little bit like this through here. I can just see them in front there, and I can't really stop, I'm afraid to get you a, a visual. A, uh, there we are. We're going to have a quick look. A quick look there. Okay, we're going to carry on. Now there is a road up ahead, apparently. Now this is one, I guess, uh, advantage of the drought, is the fact that, uh, well, it's a little bit more open than it might be otherwise. Vim, you're still there, are you? Wonderful. That's a relief. There. They are just in front of us there, everyone. I'm just going to stop here. We don't, I'm going to try not to make... Sean, just coming out in front of you there. Uh, hold on, everybody. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Justin, you ought to know how far a wild dog travels in a day. Uh, well, up to sort of probably 20 kilometers, 12 miles or so, uh, but sometimes much less. If they're denning, so they've got a den with little pups in it, then they're going to travel much less quick, far. Uh, they'll just they'll catch something, bring it back to the den, because they have to come back to the den, you see. They can't just rest where they've killed. Apparently they're coming back this way, which is a good thing, because, oh, they've run behind us. There's one behind us. Sean, there's one looping behind us coming back towards you now. They're chasing. Everyone, they are definitely chasing something here. Let's try and get around. There's a massive hole there. Not sure I can get through here. There's a warren, a whole lot of uh, places where animals have been digging. Even if that's the last view we get, I don't know that we're going to get another view, everyone. We'll try. And there are lots of people trying to get into the sighting. They've gone herring down through there. <laughs> Station on standby. I'll move out as soon as you get into this area. Um, at the moment, we have no visual. Oh, we. Oof. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to see these again. They were going at a real speed. Sorry, VMP, are you still there? All right, everyone, I think it might be a good idea for us to go across to Jamie quickly, and then you don't have to experience the smashing around. We'll come straight back to us as and when we find them again.